Welcome once again to Prismatis online class. In this class, we are going to look at the question on the board that says, find the equation equation whose roots are following. A, the roots are 3 and minus 2. B, 5 and 2. C, minus 3 and uh, minus 6. But there's a case, case 1 here, the when numbers are integers. And what is integers? Integers are defined as the whole numbers. They are those numbers that contain positive number, negative numbers, and zero. That is what we call integer. We call them a whole number. The number may be zero, maybe one, two, three, or minus one, minus two, minus three. If you plot number line, you will see them on number line. Number line like this. 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. From here is called negative integers. Why from here is called positive integers, including 1 to 0. So they are integers. So the numbers that are going to solve, the roots are given to us is an integers. So that means you will not see something like fraction or mixed fraction here or sort. So we are going to solve it. Now, how do we solve that? Let's start. Solution. We have two methods of solving this question. I'll solve them with two methods. A. Solution A. We have that x. Let's just call it that x is equal to 3. And x equal to 2. We know that this is the quadratic equation. That will give us the solution and ask us to form the quadratic equation. The previous video, that will give us the quadratic equation and ask us to find the solution. So now we are returning back from the last to the back. But the first one we are forming, uh, this one now we are forming for quadratic equation. So they gave us that x is equal to 3 and s is equal to 2. We need to form a quadratic equation of this root, given root. So how do we do that? We have what we call first method. We have first method known as expansion method. expansion method. I'll solve expansion and solve other method. Formula method. We have expansion method and what? Formula method. Let's go with expansion method. What do we do here? We need to cross. Take this young man that is here to the left hand side. And we have x. This is plus 3. Crossing the sign of quality will become what? Minus 3. Close it. Into this one we cross. We have it as x minus what? 2 all equal to zero it must be equal to zero because it's a quadratic equation now what do we do we need to split them one after another this x we go x into what x minus two close it now and we have what remainder here minus three into what x minus two close it all equal to zero x into this after then, minus 3 into this. And that is what we have done here. What do we take again? We multiply. Frankie said to me first. X times X will give us what? X squared. X times minus 2 will give us minus 2X. Minus 3 times X will give us minus 3X. Minus 3 times minus 2 will give us plus what? 6 equal to 0. Always remember our multiplication sign. Minus times minus equals to plus, plus times plus equals to plus, minus times plus equals to minus, and plus times minus equals to minus. Always remember that. So what do we do here? Collection of what? Like them. This one, 2x and this 3x are the same. What do we do? x squared minus 2 minus 5. Minus 5 minus 2. Minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5x plus what is equal to 0. We have formed the quadratic equation. So this is our what? Quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic equation. This is an equation whose roots are what? 3 and what? 2. And that is how to solve it. Okay. Now let's look at second method. Second method of another method. Second method, this is first, first method. 
second expansion okay this is first formula so we have solved the first formula let let's look at second method of solving this and that one is called what uh formula formula method we call them what formula method formula method and what does this this the formula method say that x square minus so minus what so so x plus what four equal to zero and what does where let me define it where so mean sum of the giving giving roots and four mean what product product of the giving root so four so means prod add the what the giving roots together why four means what multiply the given root together so that is what we are going to do so let's continue it here i hope you are true you're okay here so let's let me wipe it out and continue the second method solution there so now from the formula from the formula we have that x square is always constant x square minus what bracket what are the 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 the, the, the roots roots are three and what two you add them three plus two plus the x as the coefficient plus what three times two equal to zero now what do we have here x square minus what into brackets five x plus what six equal to zero what do we have again x square minus okay into this time this we have it as five x close it plus six equal to zero what do we have here we have x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 and this is what our quadratic equation so you have to choose the method that you are going to use whether you are going to use a uh, expansion method or you are going to use what a uh, formula method it depends on the one that you want to use okay please try the second one try the b and c and hit me to my what uh drop it at my comment section and uh, God bless you. Thank you. Have a nice and wonderful day. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatis Online Class. Bye.